All right, guys, smash like for me in the first minute. That helps me a lot. So uh, this is the open shot video editor, and I know I'm using my camcorder to record the big screen here because if I use my screen recorder, I won't be able to move out onto the desktop without program closing. So, all right, here's what I'm talking about. Uh, I love this editing program for a lot of things. Fades are great. The, the, the... Anyway, it's, it's easy to use. But when I export uh, files, right, when I pull up the export video button, I get these huge files. So like I might start with a small video, but then once I do my edits, the file size is enormous. And I'm like, why? I have no idea why. It just doesn't make any sense, right? So a lot of the things that I do is I'll capture like um, video on Zoom. And I'll do interviews and uh, I'll put a link below uh, for, for those interviews if you guys want to watch some of them. Pretty good, I think. So. Um, and then I'll edit the videos and then I'll, I'll upload them to YouTube. And it takes forever. It'll take like two and a half hours to upload a 30, 40 minute video. And it doesn't make any sense because it's not like graphics intensive or anything. It's just, you know, meanwhile, I can like compile that video or convert that video in a, like a minute, you know, when you, when you go out of Zoom, if you've ever done that. If you ever want to see how to do that, let me know. I'll, I'll show you how to like record and zoom. It's super easy. So anyway, um, get into focus here, camera. So we're looking at these two icons right here because these are the same video. Okay, I have different titles, but they're the same video. However, here I'll even show you. I'll pull them up so you can see the video length here is 36 minutes. Come on. Focus, focus, 36 minutes, 20 seconds, okay? That's the first file. Now the next file, same thing, right? Come on. Focus, 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 focus. Oh, come on. Come on, camera, focus. Wow. 36 minutes, 10 seconds. Okay, you can see that? All right, so, but if you look at the file size, right? Properties. This file size is 44, I'm sorry, focus please, 448 megabytes, okay? But this one, the file size is 2.2, Four, almost 2.4 gigabytes. That is a huge difference, right? That's like five times. It's over five times the difference between these two files. And the quality you could tell is no is really no different. Okay, I'm not doing computer graphics for a Star Wars movie or something. Okay, this is just like an interview. It's all about the talking. So like, the video is not even that important. So I don't want to be messing around with these giant file sizes because when I do and I put the I put something that big into the video editor, it bogs down the entire system, right? I, I have trouble like it has trouble playing it back. It's so large. So anyway, so what what you do in order to make the file size smaller is you go up here and when you hit export, okay, you'll get this menu here, export video. You can choose the path, you can choose the file name, all that kind of stuff. Go down to um, Advanced. See the Advanced tab right here? Click on that, okay? And then go down to Video Settings. Click on that. Now you can see right here this number. It says Bitrate Slash Quality. It wants to export the video at this bitrate, which is 15 megabytes per second, okay? That's way more than I need. So what I'm going to do instead is change it. What you do is you change it to 15. I'm sorry, to 1.5. Right? So instead of 15 megabytes a second, change it to 1.5. And that's the difference. And then the, and then you'll get a video that's about a fifth of the of the file size of the default setting. Now, I it, it automatically goes to this default setting, and I don't know how to keep it at this 1.5 bit rate, so I have to do it manually every time right now. If anybody out there knows how to do that, put that in the comments below, because that will help me so much. And you'll help everybody else in this community, too, that's using this wonderful program that just has some...
quirks that I need to like figure out and work out. So if anybody else has any good ideas about keeping the file size down without losing too much image quality, that would be extremely helpful. Thank you very much. I hope you guys liked this video. I hope it helped you. I know it's not the highest quality video I ever made. I apologize for that. But the uh, autofocus on this camcorder is not the best. So um, have a great day. See if you can help somebody. And uh, smash like for me. And by the way, don't be discouraged if you see this status bar doesn't move. It moves at about the same rate no matter what this bit rate quality is. Because I thought this would go so much faster. It doesn't. It, it, it seems to go at a slightly faster rate when you're exporting, but not an extremely faster rate. So, All right. Put your observations down below. Have a great day. See if you can help somebody without getting caught. Take care.